on guys simple florida fishing here and this morning we're going to be targeting some snook and some tarpon uh we're going to be using my 2500 setup and uh we're going to be throwing this little 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on a 3 aught um 1 ounce wide gap hook and uh we're just going to go target some ponds and creeks and canals like i said for some snook and tarpon so y'all stay tuned let's go get at it Start off hitting a couple canal spots and then we're gonna go hit a couple ponds. Hopefully, we can get lucky here this morning before work. Alright guys, I think uh, we're going to go hit a little pond spot. We're seeing fish everywhere, but they're not really wanting to eat, so hopefully some pond fish will want to show some action. Alright guys, so we are walking up to a little pond spot, and I think I see some fish, so yep, definitely see some fish moving. Hopefully they'll want to eat the saucy swimmer. Big snook, y'all. Big snook. Look at that. He annihilated it. Saw him be lining up, so I took the swim bait right in front of his face. Freaking! Oh my God! I just burned it in front of his face. And I could not resist. I missed my hook set. I missed my hook set. That's nuts. That was a big fish. All right, y'all, we're going to leave these fish to do their fish things. And we're going to go see if we can get on some more that want to eat. And maybe tomorrow we'll come back and try to catch that one. There we go, guys. We're on one. Nice one. Nice one. Probably 26, 27. Okay, not in the tree. Saw him feeding on some bait. Threw that saucy in front of him, he could not resist. Here he is, here he is. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Right in the corner. All right. Oh yeah, he's a 26. Yo, 
I'll check that out. Probably a good 26. Right there, ate the saucy swimmer. Nice. Look at that, y'all. All right, let's get this hook out of him. There we go, a little 3.3 .3 saucy. Set the rod down, we'll get a good release on her. Whoa, whoa. All right. Oh, he's ready. All right, guys, so we just whacked a good snook on the Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit frayed up, so we're gonna retie that and we're gonna go see if we can get on some snook and some tarpon in another pond, so. Y'all stay tuned, let's go get at it. All right guys, so we just got to the next pond spot. Unexpectedly stopped at the canal and caught a snook, but um, so we're here at the next pond. We're gonna be throwing this five inch Guggen Squad dart. This is the natural color and we have that on a three aught, one sixteenth ounce wide gap hook. Hopefully we can get some of these snook and tarpon to eat. Um, I've been jumping tarpon here the past couple days, so should be good. All right, you guys. <clears throat> so that's gonna end it out for today's spot hop. All right, let's get back to the house. I got to get ready for work. so we made it back to the house alive so we caught a good snook and it was not a bad session we lost a good tarpon we saw a bunch of fish and uh, like i said we caught like a 26 inch snook not bad at all he ate the 3.3 inch saucy swimmer um so my setup that i was using today will be left in the description there's my uh my daiwa fuego 2500 right over here daiwa fuego 2500 on my 7.6 medium fast daiwa procyon and uh 10 pound suffix braid and then we got some 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon is what we were running today and uh so like i said we were throwing a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer and then we switched up after we caught that snook to the five inch darts we had a couple fish hit this at a pond but nothing really to commit so as always if you guys enjoyed leave a like and uh, if you want to stay posted on some fire fishing content hit that subscribe button until next time y'all stay safe keep fishing tight lines.